Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you brought your school spirit with you because today we're taking a look at Asuka 120% Burning Fest Limited for the Sega Saturn. A game about young girls duking it out in a school-sponsored fighting tournament in an effort to earn funding for their clubs. I find this funny because only a couple of the girls actually belong to martial arts clubs. So you'd think they'd be shoe-ins to beat the girls from the tennis and volleyball clubs. The main character is actually a member of the chemistry club, and she fights by burning her opponents with chemicals, which is excellent. This is just one in a very long line of Asuka games, all of which have been released in Japan only, and as a whole it's a series I really enjoy. This is a very fast-paced and combo-centric fighting game, but it features a very simple control scheme. There are only three attack buttons, light, medium, and heavy, and there's a high jump button. Just start with a light attack, which can be used in rapid succession, and chain into a longer combo. Each character also has a few special attacks that are executed with quarter circles and such, and they can be integrated into your combos as well. At the bottom of the screen, you have what appears to be your standard super combo meter. But the unique thing here is that at 100%, you can execute a single super move, but if you can hold out and make it to 120%, then you'll be able to execute as many super moves as possible within a limited amount of time. When both characters are at 120%, the match turns into super combo fest, and dramatic comebacks are pretty common. There are only a couple of gameplay modes in Burning Fest Limited, essentially just arcade and versus modes, but because the gameplay is really fun, I don't mind that so much. A survival mode or a team battle mode would have been nice though. If I have a gripe with the gameplay itself, it would be that there's not a whole lot of options for fighting defensively. It's pretty much just constant offense, and if you slow down, you'll likely be squashed by the CPU, which is actually pretty tough in this game, but you could make the argument that the full throttle style is part of the charm of this game. Overall, it's a whole lot of fun, and the gameplay is simple enough that novices to the fighting genre should be able to get along just fine. Burning Fest Limited also features some pretty nice graphics. I really like the character designs, and they kind of remind me of Voltage Fighter Gokaiser, actually. And each character has a unique look and personality to match. The stages are really colorful with a lot of background details and they reflect the various kinds of clubs that the girls belong to. Even what little animation there is in the game looks pretty good too. The sound design, courtesy of Mr. Keishi Yanao, is pretty awesome. The soundtrack is 100% high energy synth music and it's awesome. It matches the speed of the gameplay perfectly and it has just the right level of cheese. It's very 90s anime sounding. On the whole, despite being a game that was made with very limited means, it was actually designed and programmed largely by one guy, kind of like Guilty Gear. It doesn't really suffer for it. The presentation and gameplay are both great. I can easily recommend this game and series to fighting fans that are looking for something new that's easy to pick up and play. This particular version can be found online usually for between 30 and 40 bucks, and the PlayStation titles, which are essentially the same as this one, can all be found for less than that, so by all means, 
there aren't enough Culpa centric fighters in your collection, then definitely spring for Asuka 120% Burning Fest Limited, or Maxima Burning Fest, or Burning Fest Special, Burning Fest Excellent, Burning Fest Final, Burning Fest Exceptional, Burning Fest yet again, Burning Fest Part 2, Burning Fest 33 and a third, Burning Fest Painful.